This program is brought to you by Emory University. I need the state to be secular so that I can be the Muslim I choose to be by conviction, which is the only way to be a Muslim. In other words, I am demanding a secular state from an Islamic point of view. To say that I need it, I cannot be truly the Muslim I choose to be by conviction unless the state is secular. Which means that I'm opposed to the notion of an Islamic state. In fact, I believe that the notion of an Islamic state is conceptually incoherent, historically false, and practically untenable. And that when the state is secular, and by that I mean when the state is neutral regarding religious doctrine, it is not that the state is neutral about everything or all things, but specifically regarding religious doctrine. The state has no relationship whatsoever with religion. It, neither, it should neither uphold it nor oppose it. To strive to keep the state <coughs> neutral on matters of religious doctrine is critical for the possibility of my being the Muslim I choose to be. Because the Muslim I choose to be, which is the only way to be a Muslim. So here is another point that is, Choice is essential for the possibility of belief. In other words, I cannot believe unless I can equally disbelieve. If the option of disbelief is not open to me, there is no meaning to my belief. Belief has to be a choice. For belief to be a choice, I need the state to be neutral regarding my belief or disbelief. That is, if the state takes a position about what is the right religion and how to uphold it, then it is drawing me the choice to be the, the believer I choose to be, which is the only way I can be. That is what I mean by an Islamic perspective to the secular state. Another aspect of that, uh, pro, that notion or concept is the notion that Sharia cannot be enforced by the state. Not that Sharia should not be enforced by the state. My claim is that Sharia cannot be enforced by the state. That whatever the state does is by definition not Sharia. Because Sharia is the religious law of Islam or Muslims for Muslims to observe voluntarily and freely with choice and conviction, with, uh, as we say in Arabic, with niya, the intent to comply. The state is a political institution. It is incapable of having a religion. The state cannot believe or disbelieve. It's a political institution. It's not an entity. It is not a being with a conscience to believe or not. So any claim that the state is Islamic is in fact a claim that the state is controlled by some people who are enforcing their view of Islam through state institutions. And when you see it in that light, you understand how dangerous it is to concede the claim that the state is Islamic. And because the state cannot be Islamic, the state cannot enforce Sharia. Whatever the state does is secular, even if it claims to be a, a reflection of a Sharia principle that is divine. And even to take the, the, the step further, Sharia is not divine, Sharia is secular. Because it's a human understanding of divine source. And when you think about it, how can the divine remain divine within human comprehension? So I'm throwing in a lot of ideas here. I'm happy to, to discuss any of them as we, as we go on. But the point is to say that Sharia cannot be enforced by the state. The state cannot be Islamic. The state is always never religious. But it may not be secular enough meaning that it may not be neutral enough regarding the middle structure. So my struggle is therefore to strive to make the state as secular as possible, that is as neutral regarding religious doctrine as possible, 
And for that to happen, it has to involve my agency. And that is what, going back to talking about improving human life, it is that my agency is the one that makes it happen. It is not going to happen by itself, and it is not going to happen, happen by someone else doing it for me. That is, I must accept responsibility for my action, for my speech, for my thought. And because I'm ordinary, I need all of us to work together to make it possible for me to do so without fe fearing consequences for my speaking freely and acting accordingly. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.